Police are offering a 100,000 rand reward for information related to the deadly mass shooting in Tilbach over the weekend. A group of people were socializing in the Marikana informal settlement when a gunman entered a house and opened fire, killing four people. The first suspect appeared in the Tilbach Magistrates Court yesterday, but the community has been left in shock. For more, let's bring in ENCA's Nobis Sutu Hejana in Cape Town. Uh, Nobis Sutu, what are police doing to find the other suspects and how many suspects do they believe there are in total? So police believe that there's two, there are two suspects uh, in this particular case with one who was arrested earlier this week who made an appearance um, this week. Uh, this week. Uh, we know that uh, from the police confirming that he was in the country illegally and he was also working as a farm worker in the area. But they've also said that um, with them offering this particular reward, they want to sort of like show um, support and bring back the trust from the community members who are saying that at this stage uh, they've been left uh, devastated and shocked by what had happened because according to the uh, to the police and also the residents there was another shooting last night where one person was murdered but the 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 perpetrators have not yet been arrested in that particular incident which took place last night but with the incident that happened over the weekend, police are looking for one more suspect. But uh, we know that from the NPA that they did mention that they will oppose bail should he apply because at the moment he's currently facing four charges of premeditated murder. But let's take a listen to Regan Allen, the MEC of Community Safety and Police Oversight. We have in this briefing this, um, found out that the four people have been killed. It's a brutal killing, it's a vicious killing, and that one perpetrator has already been caught. He has been arrested and he appeared in court and will be appearing in court on Monday again. This sends a message that we need to ensure that any culprit, any criminal that is committing such heinous crimes in terms of mass murders in our province will be caught and it will ultimately be dealt with. No, Mr. you mentioned earlier that the community is naturally shocked, also that they're feeling unsafe. Is there a lack of trust in the policing in the area? Well, with the many residents that we tried to engage with in the community, none of them wanted to speak on record, saying that because they're not sure who's behind these killings, so they don't know who might be watching, so they don't want to put themselves uh, in the situation where they are speaking to the media and then whoever is behind or responsible for the shooting, um, they then become the victims. But when we spoke to the family of 26-year-old um, Dolobella, they did mention that he was in the country um, since last year August but uh, to them this also came as a shock because he was just have, um, hanging around with his friends when this happened and they were also saying that because he's new to the community they don't suspect that he might have been involved in any of the illegal um, crime but uh, they want those behind this to be arrested. We also spoke to the community leader who was saying that the community is scared understandably so because of the shooting and than that took place. But let's take a listen to Elizabeth Sedijo, who was speaking on behalf of the community. The community is very shocked, devastated by the deaths, and we're very saddened by it. There was another killing last night. People feel unsafe, and uh, but they are very appreciative of the fact that the police arrested someone with regard to the, the killing on Saturday night. The um, killing of last night has not been resolved and there's nobody arrested as yet. So I can imagine that the people are still very, very feeling unsafe because they don't know why all these killings are taking place. No, but Sutu, I can understand that community members don't necessarily want to speak to the media on camera, as you say, for fear of reprisals. Uh, do you think they would be willing to speak to the police for this 100,000 rand reward? Well, the brigadier who was there with the MEC tried to engage with them, but they were saying that, listen, you're only here because you're doing your job and you're showing face, but as soon as you leave and we report whoever 
or we know whoever is involved, our lives will be compromised. So the community is in fear. So at this stage, it's unclear whether they'll be willing to work with the police because none of them say they know what the motive is. But uh, from what we understand from the residents, um, this is the first of its kind. So that's why they're a bit shocked because they're not sure what exactly is happening in that Maragana informal settlement area. Well, thank you very much. And Nobesutu Hijana covering that story for us.